business is in his blood. Third generation superstar. No doubt, Brad, for success. Get a look at greatness. Randy, I just want to say thank you for taking the time out with me today to answer a few questions. You mind if we get right into it? Let's do it. In December, you became the first WWE World Heavyweight Champion. What was that like? Well, I tell you what, it, it was an amazing feeling, and the road to get there was really exciting for me. In the middle of 2013, and I won the Money in the Bank briefcase. Cashed it at SummerSlam, beat Daniel Bryan, became a 11 time world champion, the WWE champion, and then later on in that year, I beat John Cena in December at TLC to become a 12 time world champion and the first ever WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So you ask me how that makes me feel. Well, I feel like it's my time, Book. I feel like everyone knows it's my time. What's your thoughts on this year's WrestleMania? Now, knowing now it's a triple threat match. First, it was just you versus Batista. I mean, evolution going one-on-one. -on -one. But now, that extra added element, either Daniel Bryan or your boss, Triple H. Well, I definitely have uh, a much more dense history, uh, if you want to call it that, with Triple H. We've had our ups and downs, but I know him a lot more than I know Daniel Bryan. What do you think about Triple H? Uh, he's one hell of a competitor, but he's also taken after Vince in the sense that he's a ruthless businessman, and he will do whatever he needs to do to get what he wants. Our ring! Our house! Our show! That being said, he steps into that ring, he's no longer my boss. He's just another body in that ring for me to decimate. Triple H said, I'm sick of technically gifted guys who are so screwed up in the head that they can't even win a match without me holding their hands. What's your thoughts on that? I've never... Really that's your boss. That's your boss that's talk. A, that's true. And I've never been referred to or even thought of myself as a technically gifted wrestler. So I, I take it as a compliment. Uh, but, but who can't win a match without me holding their hand? What about that part? Right, right. Well, as I said, Book, I've never considered myself a technically gifted wrestler, so I take it as a compliment. Okay, uh, moving along. You have a voice. We have a voice! Daniel Bryan is the guy who rose from the ashes of the independent circuit to put himself in a great position to become the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. What do you think about Daniel Bryan? It's funny you should ask. Um, Daniel Bryan and the, this thing he does right here, chanting the one syllable word over and over and over again, like these people, they, I, it's a fad book. It's, it's, it's funny for me to uh, sit back and look at a guy struggling so hard to make it to the top while it just came very easy to me. And I feel like that's gonna be the name of the game come WrestleMania. That's even if Daniel Bryan makes it to that matchup. You're exactly right. Triple H and Daniel have to face each other first, and no matter who wins, these guys are going to be winded, beaten down. They're going to beat the holy hell out of each other. And then who's going to say, even if he wins, that he's going to be 100% after that match with Triple H? I'll tell you right now, I guarantee you, he won't be. Which brings me to the end. Batista. I mean, former cohort. That's right, that's right. We got a history, don't we? Evolution. I mean, uh, he, what's your thoughts? He was the on first Batista? guy. He was the first guy I ever met in this business. He was a friend. Uh, he was a fellow member of Evolution. We came up together. We got better together. I feel as if though, when he took off to do the movie thing, you can't get those four years back that he's been gone. They see him come back and everyone booing him. He's wearing his skinny jeans like he stuck four or five years ago. You can't help but snicker at the fact that you've got this big bad mother coming down to the ring and all these people are just 
they, they want nothing to do with him. So Batista, back in the day, he would have been an opponent for me. Now, not so much. If you could look inside of your crystal ball, what can we expect at WrestleMania 30? At WrestleMania 30, I'm gonna be standing tall when that dust settles, the smoke clears, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be all about me. The show of shows, I will be the last man standing, but plain and simple. When I walk down to that ring, that adrenaline, all those tens and tens and tens of thousands of people are screaming or booing or whatever they're doing. It's not gonna matter who's in that ring. I'm better than all those other guys. I don't care who wins, Triple H, Daniel Bryan, to get in that trip. It doesn't matter, like I said before. It's gonna be me standing tall with both titles in my handbook, because I am the best. That's what it'd be. Thanks for taking the time. You got it. Thank Good you. luck at WrestleMania 30. Thank you, sir.